Hi everybody, welcome to the first video of uh, our journey that is going to begin in about two weeks um, for restoring this beautiful house known as the White Snare House. Um, one of our goals over or during this process is to document as much as we can and share as much video as we can. Some of this is going to be for our own um, purposes to be able to submit to Preserve SC for approval of doing the different projects, um, which I'll get into more uh, in a few minutes, but also just to share and it, so, some of them may be kind of a how-to video, some may just be showing what we're going to do or what we did do. Um, so for this one today, I'm just going to walk through the house and, uh, and show everybody um, the details uh, and maybe point out some of the work that needs to be done. Some of it's going to be pretty obvious, uh, some may not be. Um, but also, uh, I want to do our first video that's going to be submitted to Preserve SE for approval. So what that is all about is that um, with purchasing this house, part of that deal is uh, a rehabilitation easement is what it's uh, referred to, but it basically it means that we're going to restore this house back to its original glory um, and uh, everything we do needs to be approved by the, the uh, Preserve SC nonprofit group. Um, the good part about that is I think everything I want to do to the house personally is very much in line with what they want to see done. Um, and the basic concept is to bring this house back to the way it was, but not go to the point of redoing walls, re rebuilding and making it look like something it never was. Because uh, what we want to do is show the history. So um, let's go take a walk around. Um, I'm by myself today, so uh, I have to be the cameraman too. Um, so uh, if I can figure out how to use a video product later, I may cut this and make it look all smooth, but you may just see me go pick up the camera. So let's go take a walk around. See, that was almost smooth. Okay, so where I am right now is in the, right at the front door looking towards the back of the house. So this is basically the front hallway, or I'm sorry, the central hallway down the middle. And as you can see, it's not much of a hallway. It's more of a huge room. Um, I haven't measured, but I'm guessing it's about 12 feet across. So let me turn around. Here is the front door that I was just standing at. Um, and then in this area, this is what we're going to use as our main formal living space, I guess. Um, it's open to the main hallway with these beautiful columns um, on each side. Note the header up at the top and that column, because that'll come up in just a minute when I show one of the things we're planning on doing. Um, fireplace needs a little bit of work, got a big hole in it. Um, but these were shelves. I don't know when these were built, possibly when the house was built or possibly shortly after. We're going to clean those up a little bit, but keep the same basic style and then duplicate them on this side. Um, but really there's nothing much to do to this room except for clean up, um, repaint. Uh, the floors are going to need some sanding, uh, maybe a little bit of filling. Um, note the windows. I don't know if you can see the wavy effect. This is um, the original glass, um, or at least historically original. Um, all of the glass panes are intact, but several of them are cracked. But I believe we have a, uh, a source um, for getting new panes to put in there. Um, so we're going to keep all that original. That's actually one of the requirements of the restoration is to keep the single pane glass. Um, now what we'll do is we'll do some kind of interior storm windows um, and just to because it's going to cost a lot to heat this place if we don't have the uh, some kind of barrier. Um, one thing I want to point out is that you can see here that's the pulley for the weights. Um, of all the windows I've looked at most of them look like that. There's the rope. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's the rope right here that is cut. Um, none of the weights are intact except for I think one I found in another room. So my goal is to make all these windows functional with the weights. Right now none of them open. They're all painted shut. So that's going to be a project. 
Um, some of the neat stuff in here, like these doors, I'm of course going to keep these doors. They're going to be cleaned up. Um, but this is kind of neat here. Got the original uh, spring latch here. Um, and then this will need some lining up with the doorknobs. But that's going to be fully restored back to the original. We're going to have to add some kind of uh, deadbolt lock. But uh, that's going to be functional. We'll come back to the front porch in a little bit. Uh, this is Janice's fav favorite room. Um, this is where we're going to actually have our TV. And, you know, when we want to watch TV, it'll be in here. Probably put a TV above the fireplace over here. Um, note this woodwork from KC Specialties. Uh, this is all going to replace a lot of the broken pieces outside. These are, um, these are the corner braces for the porch. These pieces go in between. Um, it's basically the balusters for the porch. You can see the pieces here. Um, in fact, you can see the new piece beside an original piece. This is all of the fascia um, that goes around the, um, the roof. Uh, got some bead boards. You can see these are beads down one half of the board. You can see it better on that one. Um, all of the ceilings are done with that um, as well as a lot of the trim. One of the things I've been really impressed with this house is all of the wood on the walls, the ceilings, uh, the wainscoting down at the bottom. It's not, some of the trim's not in great shape but it's everything is in really good shape considering this house is 125 years old. Um, all of the roofs, I'm, I'm sorry, all of the ceilings are good. Um, this is where there used to be a wall you can see going all the way around to the side, they had the, the front of this house closed off. Um, speaking of that, if you go to YouTube and search for White Derrick House, you'll see about five videos um, that Preserve SC has put together. And it shows some of the work that they did in here um, for the demolition. Um, one thing that's interesting, and we have a picture, eventually it'll get to the website and to Facebook. But you can see up on the ceiling here where there's, uh, it was painted around what's, where something used to be there. You'll see a little notch in the stairs. There used to be a door right there. Um, and we have a picture of that, and I'll post it. But there used to be a door that actually closed off the upstairs. Well, let's go ahead and continue on back to this room here. This is going to be our uh, craft room, office type room. Um, I don't know if you notice that wall. And, I don't, and I'm pretty sure you can't notice the floor, but it substantially goes downhill towards that back corner where the house has done a little bit of dropping. Um, but uh, we're going to keep it exactly like that. Um, there's no reason to raise it up because it's structurally sound. Um, we do have some boards here that um, have some termite damage. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's no active termite infestation. But these boards will have to be replaced. Uh, a little bit of rot here. Um, so this goes into a bathroom. Um, I don't know if you can tell by this video, but this this is a porch floor, and it leans. I mean, it it's slanted just like a porch floor. So I'm going to rebuild that and kind of make it level. Um, not going to change any of the uh, the the walls. Um, this will still remain where it looks like an outside wall. Uh, that's going to stay. This will keep the window opening, um, but may put some shelves in, in there just to hold things. Uh, the um, this wood here, which is, let me walk back in this room. Which you can see there. Obviously, there used to be a window there. Um, that I'm going to better seal this. May actually have to replace this with some uh, tongue and groove shiplap. Um, just to make that, you know, closed off. Don't really want to be able to see in the bathroom through there. Um, I believe, and I don't know yet, I need to figure out what I'm going to do here, but this wall, this temporary wall, may come out. Um, depends on how much room we have in there for a tub. Uh, have to give that some thought. But this goes out to the... Uh, back porch. So it's, this is a, actually a door to the exterior. Got a little bit of work to do up here. Um, lots of rot. You can actually see 
the header, this board right here was the header for the old porch. You can see it go all the way around here. That's actually the old header to the porch. When we go outside, I'll show you what I'm talking about there. All right, so let's go back into the house here and we'll go into the dining room. So just to get reoriented, there's the front door, stairs to the upstairs, um, and then into the dining room. Um, these windows, you can see that they were replaced at some point. Uh, we actually have the sashes to put them back to the original tall windows so that they'll match the rest of the windows from the outside. Um, now this room, we've already talked to Preserve SC about this and gotten approval for this. Uh, it needs to be in writing still, but we're actually going to knock out these two walls. Um, probably it'll be about right here. And the header I pointed out in the front room, it'll run the same way here and across to here. And then those round columns out there, let's go walk back over there. These round columns, I'm actually going to duplicate that and the header and put one of those columns right here. So what that'll do is it'll open up all this um, so the dining area will be open to the main hallway and the rest of the house. Um, so let's quickly move in here. Uh, this is the kitchen. This is the worst floor of the whole house. Uh, lots of holes, lots of issues. Um, this is not the original window, obviously. But you can see, let me back up a little bit, get a good shot. You can see where there used to be a window and there used to be a door. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that window and relocate it back to this original position, get rid of that big window. Um, this wall is going to be where the electrical and the water comes into the house. You can see actually there's the original electrical panel, um, even with the little twist out fuses and all that good stuff. Um, but this will all be kitchen. We have a basic layout, but nothing's concrete there. Um, but the water heater is going to end up being relocated. And let's go outside to the porch. Um, so here's back to where that bathroom is. There's nothing here. There's no windows or anything. Um, I'm going to talk to Preserve SC about maybe changing this to screen. Um, but this is, I thought was kind of neat. This is like the back of the outside of the house by the kitchen. There's a window. We're going to keep the window there. There's an opening here that goes to a shuttered um, kind of a window. I mean, it's not a window. But then there's like another building that's back here. Um, even though it's connected by ceiling and by floor. This is where we're going to relocate the uh, um, water heater. I don't know if you can see that very well. So, and just outside storage. So, okay, let's go back in here. I don't want this video to go long, go too long. Let's go run upstairs. We're going to go through here. And one of the interesting things with this stairway is that the rails are very low which I think is fine going up the stairs, but we're gonna want to take this top railing and we're gonna raise that railing up a little bit. What's gonna happen is that at this corner, this point here is actually gonna be up here, so it'll line up with this, and that'll give a nice height, because I'm a little worried with that being so low that somebody could easily just topple over it. So, anyway, so this is the upstairs. You see that we've got the same type of large, wide hallway. Let's go back here. This is where Bonnie's room is going to be. Um, one, one thing about this is that there is no closet. Um, now, this used to be a teacherage, which if, if you had asked me before we ever saw this house what a teacherage was, I wouldn't have been able to, to tell you. Um, but it's basically where the teachers lived. Um, and they use this as a kitchen. So uh, that plumbing will have to come back out because, of course, we're not going to use this as a kitchen. Um, but we're going to probably put a large wardrobe in here for Bonnie's clothes um, and then may maybe some cabinets um, to be able to have her uh, have some storage. Um, another bathroom. Uh, not a huge bathroom, but it's big enough to have a tub over in this corner and then a toilet and a sink. We're actually going to try to repurpose that sink and keep it. Um, 
and hopefully find some parts for this. If not, be, be able to find some like it. Um, I love these wood uh, tower racks. If we can clean these up and use them, we will. That'll be neat. Um, okay, so I'm going to save that room. This is going to be the guest bedroom. Not really much going to happen in here, um, except for, of course, windows. Uh, but we're at the front of the house here. Um, nice fireplace and mantle here, going to be cleaned up. Uh, a couple of closets. And then this will be the master bedroom. So again, we're at the front of the house. Um, you can see there's no window here. Um, so good size, uh, very small closet. So what's going to happen is that over here, we're going to put a doorway which will lead into the other room, which we'll go into in a second. That'll be the walk-in closet. This door will go through into the master bathroom. So let's go in here to that room, I'll show you what's gonna happen in here. So this is an, another good sized room. Um, one of the only rooms that have any damage on the ceiling. So I'll have to repair that. So here's that wall. Again, this is where the master uh, bathroom is going to come in, and this is going to come into the closet. So with this door, we're going to build a wall here, and it'll go to about right here. So that space will be walk-in closet. All the rest of this will be master bath, and over in this corner, will be laundry. So we'll have laundry up there, which will be accessible from the hall. Laundry and then maybe a sink for laundry, um, but then master bath for all the rest of it. So it'll be a big bathroom, um, but it'll double as a laundry, so that should be okay. I'm glad they didn't latch because I don't have a doorknob for it. I'd have, hate to have to climb out the window. So that, oh, let me walk over here to the balcony. This is kind of neat. Um, there's a ladder there to keep it closed. It's got the same ty type of spring hinges up here as the downstairs. Um, so you can see this is balcony here on the outside. Um, points right down to the front yard. Um, here's one of the tricky parts. Note the post and then surprise it's just floating. Um, this is sitting on top of a beam on the porch and that corner of the porch down here right down here is rotted away a little bit so that'll have to be raised up and fixed but it shouldn't be too big of a deal um, here's some of the scroll work on the outside that's you can obviously tell is broken so we have replacements for all of that and then we also have replacements for the handrails that are rotted um, and then, but those those uh, pieces, the scroll work, actually look pretty good. So, anyway, so I think that's about it inside. Um, I'm gonna go show you the outside now.